Hi, I'm Valerine. Come stick with me and learn some of my eats and treats recipes. Remember to subscribe now. For dinner, we will be making some chicken split pea soup. And uh, I should mention that the chicken part that we will be using is chicken back. We don't allow anything to go to waste. And usually what we do with chicken back is either make soup or sometimes we curry the chicken back just like we curry the chicken feet. So I am making some chicken back split pea soup. My pot is boiling. I have cleaned and washed my chicken back. So now I am going to put the chicken in the pot along with the split peas i have two different split peas here green and yellow it's just about two cups of split pea so i'll go ahead and i'll put the split pea in and the split pea is not very hardy it doesn't take forever to cook so by the time the soup is finished, the peas will be cooked and they will make the soup very creamy. So that's the chickpea and now I'll go ahead and put the chicken back in the pot. Get a spoon here and then just give the whole thing a little stir then I'll cover back the pot and let the chicken and the split pea boil for maybe about 10-15 minutes and in the meantime I'll get my other ingredients ready for the pot It's now time to put some onions in and I have uh, chopped one onion and shredded the other one. Also my homemade soup powder. Next we'll go ahead and spoon in some dumplings. Now I don't like to put cartwheel dumplings in soup. So I do spoon dumplings. And this is the way I do spoon dumplings. So I stir the pot and then I will cover not all the way I'll just put it a little to the side and let it go ahead and cook again for another 10 minutes or so before I put my Irish potatoes in now it's time to put my Irish potatoes in but generally we would have some type of um other ground provisions such as uh, um, a yellow yam or negro yam but i don't have any of those yams because i'm living in the countryside and we don't have access to those yams here in ontario so i'm gonna go ahead and put my potatoes in but it's gonna taste just as good
and then i'm gonna go ahead and prepare the carrots to go in very soon It's carrot time. There we go. And now, I'm not going to put any cock soup or chicken noodle in this soup because I already have the split peas and the split peas will thicken the soup. If I put any kind of noodle in, it's going to be too thick so it's good as it is but I'll go ahead and I'll grind some good old Jamaican pimento in because it helps to cut the rawness of the chicken then I'll cover the pot back there we go and in a few more minutes, we should have some healthy soup in the bowels. Here's three, two. The soup is all done and I'm just going to dish up some bowls of soup for the family. So I'm dishing up four tasty bowls of soup. Thanks for watching the video guys. Remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. Please hit that notification button also so you can be notified of new videos. Comment, like, and share with somebody. All of this helps my channel to grow. I appreciate it immensely. You take care now and I'll see you in the next video.